Hi everyone, Gemma here. Thank you for watching today. So in this video, we're going to be making this a five by seven feather card. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Got all the, that lovely detail with the um, texture paste there, plus the shine from the gold mirror card and the embossing powders. So don't let life ruffle your feathers. And I just think it's absolutely stunning. So before we get into the video, I'm just going to go through the products that I'm using today and then we'll get started. So we're using the Fabulous Feathers collection from Apple Blossom and I'm using the Fabulous Feathers A5 stamp and die set and the Fabulous Feathers 6x6 stencil. So even though it's a 6x6 I'm making it into a 5x7. You've got this large feather here and then these smaller feathers so I'm just using this section here and then um, the sentiment and this stamp. So I've got a piece of white smooth cardstock that's trimmed to five by seven. And I've got a masking sheet that I'm just adding over the top at a slight angle. And this will help secure this piece in place and hold it for me while I do some ink blending. So I've got Distress Oxide, Twisted Citron and Cracked Pistachio. And I'm just going to roughly just add some color in sort of circle motions over the panel. Apologies if the camera is moving. Try and keep it as still as possible. And then I'm going to take the Twisted Citron and fill in some of the areas and then I'll go back over and just smooth that out. So I'll pop you on high speed now while I um, finish off ink blending this panel. So I'm happy with my panel and I just roughly dried that off with my heat tool just to set that in place. Next I'm going to bring in the stencil and I'm going to line this up on the one side here. So my panel is slightly larger than I need so I'm going to trim this down. So I'm not too worried about the bottom surface. I just want to make sure that I've got that design meeting at the top where that masking paper is. I'm just going to grab ooh, some low tack tape and tack this down in place. And then I'm just going to use some of the excess um, masking sheet there just to help me hide that edge. So I'm going to use some Distress um, Texture Paste. This is the Opaque. And I've got this spatula from Creative Craft Products. So first time using this sort of tool. So there's my completed panel. I've um, roughly dried it with the heat tool, but I'm going to set this to one side and let that dry further before I do some additional work on that. So this is the Fabulous Feathers A5 stamp and die set. And I'm going to use this larger stamp here and this sentiment, don't let life ruff ruffle your feathers. <laughs> Put my teeth in and they've got outline dies. So I'm going to heat emboss. Um, the feather first of all onto some white cardstock and um, I'm going to then cut that out with the outline die. The stamp then is going to be stamped directly onto the panel that we've started to create and then I'm going to add it to a card base. So this comes together really quickly. Um, 
and it has so much lovely detail already on it. So I have my stamping platform here and I'm just going to add the stamp in position. So I'm just priming my surface with some anti-static powder. So this will help sort of eliminate any unwanted um, sort of particles from the embossing powder. I'm going to use Versa Versa Mark. I'm doing that a lot lately. I'm combining my words, so that's Versa. <laughs> so I'm using Versa Mark Watermark Stamp. And I'm going to stamp this a couple of times so I have a really good impression. This is why I like to use the stamping platform so you can go in several times. Get a really nice impression. So I'm going to use the metallic gold wow embossing powder. This is in the regular. So hopefully it should pick up all that lovely detail. So tap off any excess and then if you've got any areas where the embossing powder is attached for some reason, just go in with a dye, uh, a dye, a dry paintbrush and just brush those away. And once you're happy with your image then you want to set it with your heat tool you want to preheat it for about 30 to 40 seconds get that nice and hot and then run that over your cardstock. As soon as you see the powder sort of melt and change move your heat tool then to a different area. So I've cut out the feather there and I've cut an additional piece in just the white cardstock and attached them together just to make that nice and strong and you know if there's any warping from the um, heat embossing then that will straighten it out. It'll also give me a really strong surface because I want to pop that up onto some foam. I'm going to set that to one side and let that dry. So I've got my panel now that I've trimmed down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I'm just gonna pop this in my stamping platform. And I want to add the sentiment somewhere up there. Bring my feather in just to check that we've got enough room. Yep, happy with that. So I'm gonna heat emboss this again in the same gold powder. So there's a sentiment now heat embossed. I've cut a strip of gold cardstock that I'm going to attach just over that join there to tidy that up. So I'm just gonna run a bead of quick grab glue along that edge there. So I've trimmed the excess away and I'm just going to add my panel and the feather there with some foam adhesive to the card base. So there's the final card. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. Just love that shine on the embossing powder there and all that lovely detail from the stencil. I think it's just turned out really lovely and I love those colors together. So let me know in the comments below what you think of today's card. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button. Um, if you're not a subscriber to the channel, then you may want to consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future tutorials. I will link all the products in the description box below. I hope you have a lovely crafty day. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.